Go ahead. Great. Yeah, so we're here at the Tampa Super Show. We've got three accessibility enhanced motorhomes from Winnebago. Last year at this time, we launched three stock models. And this year we've done some enhancements for 2020. Rob Kim with Winnebago Specialty Vehicles Division. Uh, Specialty Vehicles Division within Winnebago creates Winnebago's accessibility enhanced motorhomes. We have three stock models. We're here at the Tampa Super Show and we're able to bring all three models here and show them to folks. So look forward to showing you around this particular unit. This is a Forza accessibility enhanced unit right, that we're in right now. And we've got a number of features in these units that uh, allow someone who has uh, mobility challenges a lot more opportunities than they would in a regular motorhome. Uh, starting with a wheelchair lift, all three of our models have a wheelchair lift included. The other key feature we have is all the aisle ways throughout the coach, even when the slides are in, are at least 30 inches wide. So we designed that so that, of course, when you're in a wheelchair, you have plenty of room to make it through the aisle ways, make it to the bathrooms. Right. The other key thing about all three of our units is the whole bathroom area is expanded, easier to access, easier to access showers, easier to access toilet areas, um, much easier just for anybody who's got mobility challenges or in a wheelchair. And one of the things that I've noticed as we've walked around and looked at this unit, it doesn't feel that much different. I mean, you've done a nice job of adding that accessibility to it without changing the feel of it being a uh, motorhome. You know, yeah, the, the aisles are a little wider and, and you've got a lift right here on the side and the bathroom's a little bit different, but the rest of it feels just like a regular motorhome and, and it's a, really a compliment to your engineering. Absolutely, yeah, no, we base this off of our standard Forzas, the same updated color schemes, the uh, same designs. It's just like you said, certain things are modified a bit, uh, aisleways are bigger, but when you look at it, all you really see is similar to an upscale Forza motorhome. Well, you look and say, okay, well, that aisle's a little bit bigger. This feels spacious in here. Those are some of the things that people have commented about these yeah. particular floor, floor plans. Yeah, I mean, some of the things that you've done, I think you could do in your regular, you know, just to make it more open. It's, it's, it's a nice touch. But the idea of, you know, doing it for that purpose, too, is great. Yeah. So why don't you show us the other end? Sure. Come on that back this way. Uh, one thing I'll note. For example, on this table, it's not extended right now, but it does extend, there's a leaf in there. So again, if you're in a wheelchair, it can be part of the group with your wheelchair being able to sit at the table, yeah. but you don't have to transfer necessarily into the booth. Right, that's nice. And as you come back, you can see the shower area. It's wide open. There's a roll-in shower. You can um, easily access that compared to you know your traditional RV where you have a typically a larger step over height right it just doesn't work for to be able to roll into them and as you move that back to the bedroom we offset the queen size bed which again allows you to have at least a 30 inch aisle way for someone in a wheelchair to be able to access the bed mm -hmm. uh, some of the controls example for the lights are in a position where if you're laying down it's easy to, to reach those. It's just some of those subtle touches that we add in given you know who's going to be using these type of vehicles. Right. But otherwise like you said I mean there's just like any other premium RV lots of storage space big closets. This unit has a stackable washer dryer similar to the other Forza nice. models from Winnebago. So like, like you were saying, you, you don't give up anything with this model. You just get features that allow more people to use it. Right, right. I mean, so if you've got a, it, it's, it's designed for everybody. So if it's just one family member that has the accessibility uh, issues, it doesn't hold back the whole family and that you're feeling like, you know, you're compromising anywhere on this. You're not. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've had customers where 
they just wanted to have the accessibility option because someone in the family, maybe a nephew or a niece, was in a wheelchair. They wanted to be able to take them from time to time, but 90% of the time they aren't traveling with that person. Right. And it gives you that option, but they didn't lose anything with the rest of the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, is there anything unique in the kitchen area that you've done? Uh, there are some options that aren't included here. This is a large convection oven, but if you wanted a smaller microwave oven, that could be placed below. Right. But what we find is that it depends. Who's going to be doing the cooking? Is it the person in the wheelchair or is it the person who's not in the wheelchair, right? So we're not really sure on that. So there are options that we can put in place. Okay. Um, this one is set up mainly, though, to allow um, the, the larger walkway. Right. Right. So on a a regular Forza, this island would be further out, it'd be a little larger. We, we, we scaled those back to allow you to have that access. Yeah. And then the, the front driver area is it's a nice flat floor all the way up. And, you know, your options would be, you know, for someone, if they needed, you know, hand controls or something, they could have that added on aftermarket to the unit. That's correct. Yeah, Randy. So just like uh, if you were to buy a minivan and have that equipped so that it hand controls, those companies yeah. that do that can also do that on a vehicle like this. Um, the seat will swivel around, allow you to transfer. There are also options for power seats that allow them, the whole seat to raise up and make it easier to transfer in. That's another option. We've seen people take the seats out and put um, restraint mechanism so you can roll your custom wheelchair into it and lock it in and be up front. So there's right. those different options that depend on the use case that yeah. can be done. Right. And and this the lift unit is probably not anything custom to this. It's pretty much a standard type of lift unit. So what I'm what I'm thinking here, I'm not I don't want to get into harping over on lift unit because it's probably the same to a lot of different unit different um, vehicles. So, but it's just, it just, it's here, it works, and it's probably very simple for the person to operate. Yep, exactly. So this is a lift mechanism built by Braun, which is one of the leaders in lifts. And a uh, couple things, though, about this. One is it, it does have an 800-pound lift capacity, so even if you're on a, you know, some of the larger powered chairs, yeah. you still should have plenty of lifting capacity. Second, there are a lot of Braun dealers in the U.S., so as you're traveling around, if you did have any issues with it, you're probably pretty close to a Braun dealer for help. And um, the other thing I would just want to mention is it's not quite as easy as just bolting it into an existing unit. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of torque and a lot of weight when you put these in. So the whole substructure under the floor is designed with the right metal structures and, and so on to make sure that you know it's robust, you're not going to have any issues. Right. So, so do you, besides the lift, do you do anything else on the outside to change it around, or we do not? So the everything is like is the, the same. you know the stabilizers are in the repair. You know they're all controlled from you know remotely and everything, so that's not an issue. It's all the same. Yep. All the stabilizers are controls are up front, just like yep. in the regular Forza. Uh, it's very much from the outside looks like any other RV. The only difference is the larger door that we have here. Right. And that is actually, it opens and closes on a remote. So you open and close it easily from the outside. Uh, we find, you know, people don't want to feel, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be different. From right. The we want it to look, feel just like anybody else's RV. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to, you, you don't want to draw attention to it. You want it to just blend into the campground. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. That's nice. It's, it is a very, very thought, well thought out unit. I, I like it. Um, I think you guys have got something unique here that the other manufacturers aren't doing yet. And that you're a leader in this. And that's one of the things you look at from Winnebago is, you know, leadership and coming up with new ideas. Um, and I think you've really done a great job here. Thank you. Yeah, one of the things you notice is how open it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, they do it because it, you know, gives you room to move the, a wheelchair or what, through here, but it's really nice design anyways. Yeah, it is. I like the color.
Yeah. Yeah, he said that um, they're, they're trying to get more neutral colors and all. the people who buy them put their spin on de decorating them. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Yeah. Can you see a very open shower? I think it was bigger than the other one. Wasn't yeah. It? And this one has a murky bed. Lots of room to come in. Wardrobe? Uh, yeah. How would a wheelchair fit in there? You probably would have to transfer. You know, have your wheelchair out here and then you know, have a stool or something that you transfer over into. Yeah, they could have built a little. Right. Well, each one's a little different. But one thing I wanted to mention about especially vehicles at Winnebago and these accessibly enhanced models is we've been building these for really about 40 years. It's just been a custom order business. And so what we did is we took that knowledge from interacting with all sorts of different customers over the last four decades, saw what are those key features, what are those key needs that they have, and designed those into the three models that we have now with stock. What we want to do is make sure that one, people are aware that we have these stock models and then have more dealers be able to stock these so that people have a chance to come see them, spend some time in them, see how they meet their needs. One of the challenges I see in the past is without actually being able to see the models, you know, it's difficult to make that decision to go forward with something. So now having these stock models available, I think gives customers a lot more opportunity to see it, touch them, feel them, see how they could how that would meet their needs. Mm -hmm. So we're excited about that and excited about more dealers taking these these on and getting these into the hands of more customers so that really anybody has that chance to have that RV lifestyle. So Rob, thank you very much for showing yeah. this. And You're I think welcome. you guys are doing something really unique and great here. And I, I commend Winnebago um, for the innovation and the forethought to kind of do something like this for uh, a small segment of the market, which I think is important. And I appreciate your time. Today. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming by. All right. Bye. Bye. Um, so if this is where we're going to end this video. So if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. And what should they do? Subscribe to our channel. That's right. Subscribe to our channel so you can follow along. We're going to be posting a lot of videos this week from the show. And we'd like to have you guys follow along. We'll see you down the road. See you down the road, guys. Bye. Bye.